Joe of Schmelson Illustration. My favorite color is purple and I enjoy creating art. And today I will be showing you what I learned drawing like Schmo Draws from Instagram. Kind of a self portrait. She does a lot of those. Uh, this one is specifically in gouache. I've already gone ahead and done a drawing similar to it or of it, kind of more so of a tracing. Um, like actually kind of really a tracing as you can see here on the left and I do want to put a disclaimer out that you should not trace art and post it as your own this is a hundred percent schmo draws illustration and I'm just kind of utilizing it and I traced it in order to kind of investigate or learn how she draws her style or her character style because I'm hoping to try and develop my own character to style and get better at that. So number one, something that I thought was really, really cool when I was creating this or tracing over her image is that I realized her line art for like the skin. So like in here and on the nose is the exact same for her mouth. And I've never really done that before. Like, I get intimidated by changing the colors of line art, like even between the hair here and then the skin tone and having those two things be different, it confuses me. And so simplifying the different colors is great for me. And I've also been like, how do you line art mouth line of somebody's smile, outline the bottom lip, the top lip, and then have the shading underneath be a totally different color. I've tried it and I haven't really perfected it and I haven't loved it. And the, another thing about line art that I thought she did that was really cool is the line art for the hair is the same as the background and the same as the eye. That's something that I wanted to incorporate. Even that uh, eye shape of just being a pupil with a highlight, all one solid color, I thought that was super cool because I feel like when I look at eyes and drawing eyes, I overcomplicate it. You got you do two lines, you have the outline, you've got a pupil, you have a highlight, you've got some shading at the top, and I just, I overdo it, and when you pull back from the image, you can't even see all those different things. Oh, uh, another thing that I have difficulty with is the shading on the face and the nose. Uh, she did this really cute and just did some like cute hash marks, which I just thought were absolutely adorable. So I was pretty excited about that. And so I really want to incorporate that and practice that because I feel like whenever I try to blend, I never like how it turns out. Oh, and her hair flips that I want to mimic. Because I feel like I overdo it with hair when you try and do too many lines or whatever to do, draw out every individual hair and then it just gets muddy and lost and you're like, what the heck is going on? And these are just cute, simplified chunks and I love the little curly flippies. Uh, another thing in her hair is those highlights. I've never really been too good at highlights, so we're gonna see if we can make these little shapes, because that's just something I've never done before, so let's see if I can make that work. Um, and then I also wanted to incorporate this cute sweater, just to kind of keep it similar. Let's do a cool color theory bit here. I'm gonna kind of draw out how her colors work for her hair. So we're gonna kind of focus over here on the color wheel, 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 wheel. So this base color, super red. So it's kind of like sitting in the right in between the extremely saturated and the dark, not much over into the white. Then when we switch, so pay attention to this line and then the little dot on the triangle. So the line on the wheel and the dot on the triangle. It goes up into the dark, but not over to the left. Yeah, so it's really like almost a perfect line this direction. And then we just get a little bit more yellow. It switches from red to just a little teeny bit more yellow. And then so back to the space tone, circles right here, lines right here, go into the highlight. There we go. And that also gets a lot more yellow. So let's see if I can mimic that. Um, Cause I think this color would be super cute with the turquoise. Our new base color. Oh gosh, that's really similar. So again, we went up closer to the dark, but keeping like the same distance from the border and then go a little bit yellow. Instead of going highlight, we're just gonna go straight out, almost middle, and then back to a little bit more yellow. Very pinkish tones, look at that, that's pretty fun. 
Um, let's start with the outline because that's what I do traditionally. But I like how thick this brush line is right now because originally in this sketch, it's my pencil work is really thin and I don't quite like it. Um, I think it like loses an element. I like a thick line. I like a thick defined line. Um, I found so far that I really do enjoy this like textured brush instead of the full solid paintbrush that I normally use, which is up over here. So very solid versus where'd he go? Here, this guy. It's not like to like a huge difference, but I feel like not having that solid line really encourages me to not force this to be perfect. And this right here, all the line weight is extremely similar and I don't love that. I'm not gonna change it, but normally like I'm a stickler for making a variation in line weight. Like that's something I just think is really pretty. Um, and by that, I mean, it gets thicker and then it gets thinner. But that was a really bad example. But actually, that's pretty cute. I like it. I'm gonna keep it. Uh, as far as touchscreen goes, I am using a Lenovo Yoga two-in-one like laptop com computer or laptop tablet computer or whatever those are. Uh, it's like a super old generation. I feel like there was a number after the name that said five. And like when I originally bought it, the seven was out. I might be making that up. Um, but yeah, I had no need to buy the most expensive one. Um, this one works just fine. So it was nice and cheap for me and it still works. It's doing great. I like it. Um, I wasn't quite ready to commit to like having a laptop and an iPad, uh, when I want to use them both for illustrating. I do someday really want to have a iPad to use Procreate because I've seen a whole bunch of people do illustrations on that and like just some of the tools and that software in general is just great, especially if you can't afford um, Photoshop. Really, Photoshop is my holy grail. I'm not currently using it because I can't afford it right now. I didn't have student discount this year. So we're using Krita is my software. This is such a pretty color. Oh my goodness. I love this. Too cute. Too, too, too cute. Okay. So I am a little intimidated to go and do the highlight right now just because I feel like I should get all my other colors in here first. But this is a relatively simple illustration. So let's go for it. Um, gonna do a new layer or I just might do the layer on top of it. And I did draw in where I wanted most of those highlights. So here we go. Okay. So this is just supposed to be a line. I kind of sketched it out as being pretty thick. And then we'll just do a one of these. Because again, we're going with lines and squigglies, pretty much. Except for with tapered endings. Um, and I feel like you see this all over in anime style characters and I just feel like I look silly when I do it without like forethought. So I'm totally, like I said, just kind of going off of what she was doing, what Schmodra did in this illustration and like where she placed them and what that like light concept was, where there was a consistent line and where there wasn't a consistent line. Um, so like if I were to do this by myself or like try and where the heck go away. Um, do this without her reference or inspiration, I probably would have done something along the lines of whoosh and then like erased and like done a this thing and then done like a couple more lines. Whoops, not that, that, that. And done like a that and a that and a that and it looks really boxy and doesn't really make sense and it's like way too uniform gonna undo all of that there we go and I just didn't have that like inspiration um, of like where my pen was supposed to land or where all those highlights are supposed to land and when is it okay not to have them like I like the way she does these and so I'm gonna use that as my inspiration and my teaching all right let's move on to the next color 
let's do some skin. So something I was surprised with this illustration was when I did kind of pick up the color for the skin tone, it was really yellow. I think that looks like a great skin tone or family of colors for skin tone. So let's get going. I'm gonna start with the base tone instead of outlining. So I just have an issue with wanting to make this a corner, like major corners. Well, I don't have an issue with it. That's just kind of like what I like to do with my skin tones or with my face shape. And then I like to have a little corner there to kind of emphasize the chin pointing out because I just think that's cute and then I don't know why I outlined that because we're just going to color it over with the neck um and then we've got this cute little ear little elfie ear I kind of rounded it off at the bottom a little bit more than the original sketch but that's okay do -ba do -ba do and then a little neckline because that's just cute and then her ear um and then let's bring back Let's kind of just lower the opacity. Let's bring back this shape I made for the nose. So I'm not like super copying the nose shape. I do like how simplified she does this one. How it's just literally a whoop and a whoop. Um, I think, again, watching her do that or seeing her do that and seeing that like minimalistic line work be successful like gives me the encouragement like yeah I could do that I could underdo it for the um for the nose instead of overdoing it like I like to do and then she does kind of do a really simplified eye shape here and then the lip which I still don't understand and like I'm just choosing not to think about because it's successful it's understated this like lip being the same color as the skin tone lines um and then like not drawing an upper lip like on the inside is killing me and then let's just do that ah it's so cute okay i ain't mad about it look at these things that i'm learning i was so excited and remember this new trick that i learned from schmo is to take the hair outline color and throw it on top to be the uh, line art okay and so schmo's illustration does not have these like wispy eyeliner eyelashes I just really like them, so I do them. Oh, she's so cute. I love this. I'm so glad I did this. Um, I almost forgot to do the nose thingy. Where'd the... So this kind of thing that I personally think looks super silly by itself, and I usually get to this point, and I'm like, ew, this is gross. Stop. Um, but I know that it's cute, and I want to do it. And so here we go. Um, and again, a lot of people do this and like have it super blended out and it's super cute. But we're gonna keep with this and I'm not gonna get discouraged and it's gonna be cute. And then like everything in me wants to do with this thing. Which doesn't look bad, but we're sticking with what I've learned from Schmo Draws and that's that. And then we're gonna add a little bit of a highlight. Oh, it's cute. Okay, I'm not mad about it anymore. Let's make a super teal sweater. Yeah, that's a pretty color. And get to draw on the sweater. Do ba do ba what the erase. Do ba do ba do. And again, here we are with that more angle or cornered off shape to the fluid items. So like in the hair, I had the, I really enjoy the corners and I also like it in clothing. Like when clothing folds turn uh, into like corners. I think that's cool. Pew. Again, sound effects are super necessary. Okay, now that we've got that all filled in, let's go and clean this up a bit. Go erase where is needed on the hair. Start with the lighter color, because I know I want this to be that lighter color. Do I like these colors? Do I have the energy to change them and pick a new color? I don't know. Okay, let's give her a background before we just like totally dip out and discuss the things we learned. Here is our final product inspired by Schmo Draws illustration. 
I do like the simplicity of the eye. I think that gave me a lot of courage. I don't think I've mastered the whole blush tone thing. This I love. This I'm totally keeping that the lip color the same as the line art, the skin line art color. That made a lot of sense keeping the eyebrows the same color as the skin tone color because I feel like I was just putting too many colors up in there and then the that being the same color as that yeah that the ears are super cute but not like personally my favorite but I like the the ear shape the that thing not like it's super cute but I don't think I'll continue with that I personally like my question mark guy and then you do a that and a that but I do like how she did the in the, how simplified the inside lines of the ear was. But all in all, I really enjoy how this turned out. Um, please go and give Schmo Dross some love. I absolutely love her artwork. Her character design is so cute. She does a lot of cartoons of her and her son and her just like family life. Her Inktober for this last year, this Halloween story about her kid getting kidnapped or like getting lost and then she has to go and find him and interact with a whole bunch of different like Halloween characters is absolutely adorable. Please go check it out. Her information will be below. Um, feel free to support me on Instagram, Schmelson Illustration. Uh, that information is down below too. I am going to be doing more Technique Tuesdays and I have a Pinterest board where all of those references are going to be coming from. So if that's a little bit easier for you or if you want to come and draw along, feel free to. That Pinterest board is down below. We also have Kofi um, that you can support us on and some prints available on Etsy. Uh, so yeah, links are below. Come grow with me. Come draw with me. I hope you had a good time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.